Got a bunch of stuff that is far more pressing right now, which includes the speculation that Roman Reigns and The Rock could take place at Elimination Chamber as opposed to WrestleMania. Well, Dave Meltzer in this week's Wrestling Observer Newsletter has thrown some cold water on that. As Reigns isn't even scheduled for the show, this was posted up to the main page of WrestlingObserver.com today by Joseph Courier. Meltzer wrote in the newsletter, quote, Regarding the Reigns versus Rock match, while I presume it's WrestleMania and could possibly be a three-way with Cody Rhodes, what we did have confirmed is that the Australia rumors are not accurate. Reigns is not even scheduled for the show, he's never been advertised, and there are no plans for him on that date right now. That show is being held at Optus Stadium in Perth, Australia on Saturday, February 24th. The Rock made a surprise return to WWE on the day one edition of Raw. At the end of the appearance, Rock teased that he wants to face Reigns and take his spot at the head of the table. Paul Heyman then came out and cut a promo on SmackDown. Last week, responding to The Rock's comments, Heyman said that Rock has not been invited to the table, nor will he. At one point last year, a Rock against Reigns match was tentatively planned for WrestleMania 39, but didn't end up happening. Obviously, we got Roman Reigns against Cody Rhodes. Rhodes told Sports Illustrated earlier on this week that despite the returns of both The Rock and CM Punk, his goal is still to headline WrestleMania 40 in April against Reigns, saying, quote, The Rock is the great one. He's still electrifying. CM Punk is one of the greatest stars in the history of wrestling. I know what I'm up against. Look at the roster. It's loaded with stars, but that doesn't bother me. I'm not flinching. I'm not rooting against anyone else. I'm just working to make it happen, end quote. Reigns' next undisputed WWE Universal Championship defense will be at the Royal Rumble later on this month. He is defending against Randy Orton, L.A. Knight, and A.J. Styles in a fatal four-way match. Going to be really interesting to see how all of these things play out. There's a lot going on in that universe right now, especially when you throw in the names of CM Punk and Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre. And Money in the Bank briefcase holder, Damian Priest. But a lot going on there. Still got a lot to go on this show. We'll be back, Wrestling Observer Live. Uh, back on the show, Mike Sempervivi here with you, Wrestling Observer Live. WWE SmackDown tonight live on Fox from the Pinnacle Bank Arena in Lincoln, Nebraska. I don't know if Roman Reigns is going to be there. I assume Paul Heyman is going to be there at the very least. I know Bailey is going to be there because she's going to be wrestling Bianca Belair. Cameron Grimes is going to be wrestling Grayson Waller. And then we get the match that I'd like to see and how a lot of these SmackDowns have gone. We only have four or five matches. You know, one usually gets over 20 minutes. Give that 20 minutes to the LWO, Cruz del Toro and Joaquin Wild against the other LWO, the Legato World Order, Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo with Santos Escobar in their corner. I'm hoping this is a standout match. I like both of those teams a lot. You know, I was so happy to see Imperium in there, and it's like, okay, maybe they're doing something, you know, with, with Kofi teaming up with Jay. Maybe we'll get a little series with them and Imperium for a while. We'll get to see Giovanni Vinci show off on the main roster. He really hasn't had a chance to do that at all yet. And he gets knocked loopy and gets knocked out, and he's out of there. You know, one thing, too, and I, I just want to take it back to all the drama that's taking place right now around the both world championship scenes in WWE and what the main events might be for night one and night two of WrestleMania. Um, you know, Roman Reigns wrestling on both nights. I mean, I guess that is possible, but I'm interested in... in and what's going to happen with Seth's title and if he even makes it to WrestleMania with it? And if he does, who does he wrestle? And if he doesn't, who does he lose it to? Because I know Damian Priest has had that briefcase for a long time. But as Drew McIntyre brought up on Raw this past Monday night, you know, you went in there to, to cash that thing and you screwed up my shot. You know, you screwed everything up for both of us. And... The way things have been leading, it certainly feels like Drew McIntyre is going to be welcomed in to the Judgment Day, and Damian Priest will be going out of the Judgment Day. 
Does Drew screw over Damian Priest in his attempt to cash in the briefcase? Or does he beat Damian Priest before the briefcase and go on and try to cash it in himself? I would assume that he's going to screw up Damian Priest. But then in that case, if that happens before Mania, well, then who does Seth face? Is it Cody Rhodes? Where you put the belt on Cody? And Roman does whatever he's going to do with The Rock, and then Cody's got his belt, but he's not fulfilled. I still haven't, you know, have not finished my story yet. And I'm going to hold this title, but I'm going to hold on to it until I can face Roman Reigns. And if you're to believe that Roman Reigns is going to surpass Hulk Hogan's record, well, that means... Well, it's not Hulk Hogan's record, but the length of time Hogan has held the belt, which I guess is third longest of all time now, I believe. If it's, uh, it would definitely be Bruno first, and I guess it would be Backlund second at that point, and then Hogan. Well, you know, if, if that's the case, and Roman's got to hold it to Mania of next year in, in all likelihood, right? I don't know. It's, it's interesting, though, how they're going to try to move all these pieces around and how happy everybody's going to be by the time the thing is over. My friends over at the Black Wrestling Podcast last night were talking, you know, could, could it be possible that Roman opens up night one and then closes night two, which sounds ridiculous and sacrilegious on the surface, but... We've had big, you know, openings to WrestleMania. We've had title matches open WrestleMania before. And if he's going to be wrestling on both shows, you know, him opening one and then closing night two would probably be the way to go. But I don't know. It's This is all very interesting here because they're kind of cooking with gas right now. WWE is pretty hot. And regardless of what you think about them, the perception is they are hot and they do have... A whole lot of hot stars, or at least, at the very least, if not hot, they have a bunch of stars that people are believing in right now to certain degrees. And that includes Damian Priest and and, and Drew McIntyre and, and guys like that, as well as Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes and The Rock, obviously, now being back in the mix. Orange sold the knee, which is, he got attacked. I don't remember him getting attacked Matt Menard on said he was attacked the night before, which would have been ROH. So it's probably going. ROH. Are you smoking or what's happening what? here? I know what the fuck. What is, is going happening? On? I have no Bro. Clue. What is this? Dude. I think there's not, I've changed nothing. Smoking in this is room. bad enough for you, but you don't need <laughs> right. to do it on the air. What is happening here? God. I'm glad I'm not the only one experiencing this. Did you die? <laughs> I've ascended. Yeah. I don't know. And it looks like it's changing colors too, which is weird. It's going from red to blue. What the hell's flashing? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, I everyone's saying this, shut man. your lines, dude. They're completely closed. Oh my god. Maybe I open don't know them. What is There we go. The sun moved. Well, uh, yeah, the sun actually the no! early... Oh. Okay. The sun will continue to move, <laughs> and then we'll be able to see again. We then had uh, Abaddon take on Trish Adora. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.